organization. Has it been identified how much money is owed to workers for work they've done and how much money has been overpaid? So uh, we could get back to you on the amounts because these amounts fluctuate, you know, on a daily that's okay. basis. Okay, we'd love to know today's amount. So that would be great through the chair, Mr. Chair. If that's okay for the committee, that the, they provide that in writing, the, the amount of uh, outstanding owed to employees and overpayments, and and, and then the overpayments. Correct. Okay. Uh, we're hoping that the government can prioritize paying yeah, the overpayments. Let me just interrupt, but up to what point? Because it's it is noted, I think, in the public accounts. But up to what point will you have that information that you can provide? Like up to what date will be covered under the information you're providing to us? So the information you have, Mr. Chair, in the public accounts are up until March 31st, no. 2023. No, if you're updating so for Mr. Johns, how far are you? We, we, could, we could work, we will work with PSPC okay. uh, to determine the gap between Perfect. what is provided in public accounts and... Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, you know, resources to get people paid that earned, uh, you know, their wages. I and mean, you work alongside them and, and you're one of them. So I thank you for your work. And I hope that if any of you are owed money, that you get paid first before we start going after those that are overpaid.